some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Leon County Courthouse in Tallahassee, Florida, with Ass Elmo. Oh, my hometown region this time, huh, Ass Elmo? Uh, yeah, you just decided to invade the uh, Leon County Courthouse right there on Monroe Street across the street from the Capitol building? And not too far away from FSU, my alma mater. But I digress. At any rate, he uh, tries to film inside the courthouse and gets thrown out. And starts to cry like a, like a little beta boy punk. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because I'm certainly going to enjoy slamming you in this video, you moron. I'm sorry? Are you taking a picture of the signs? No, I'm working on a video. I was filming you. No, you cannot uh, video me. Is that like a law? Yes, you cannot video me. Can you tell us what law that is? Today. How's your service here today? Good? Wonderful. Awesome. I'm just working on a video about the courthouse. Well, I don't know. Uh, He's recording in here, and I, I didn't, I didn't agree. You snitching in public? Anymore. Yes, I am. Why are you doing that? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. There's thousands watching. Why would you do that? Well, not everybody wants to be recorded, you dipstick moron. Oh, yeah, and you might want to be careful of uh, the Florida two-party consent law, considering that this woman has not given you her permission to film her, and she is trying to conduct business orally with the uh, attendant over there, so therefore uh, you could very well be in violation of Florida law, but you uh, don't care anyway because you think it's your right to do so. But please, carry on with your stupidity. What, what do you mean? You snitching in front of everybody. <clears throat> to record you in no place. No, yeah. no, 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 hey, no. I'm, yes, it's a public place, thank you. Do you, Have you, do you work here, ma'am? Uh, yes, I am the clerk of court here. Well, nice to meet you, I'm Enrique. Um, could you explain, uh, to, could you explain to her before she files a lawsuit? She is in the right place, I think. Um, we have the right to video record. This is a government facility. You do have a right in a public yeah. space. Thank you. If y'all want you some money, y'all can negotiate that. Let me ask you something. Why, so you're calling us snitches? You are. So, so let me, let me ask you something. I mean, you're in the right let place. Me, let me ask you something. So if you, if you commit a murder, if someone commit a murder and they think it was you and you, you knew who that person man. was, would you tell or would you would you do the time for them? I'm not I'm not getting involved. Right. I'm not snitching. I'm not I'm not I'm not snitching. I'll do a whole <laughs> I'll do a whole life. I'll do a whole life in prison before I snitch. Well, I'm going to say this. You guys come to Duncan on Boylestown and Tennessee Street, 3001, uh, Tallahassee, Florida, and see me and Shania. Shania. About your donuts and coffee. How you doing, sir? Are, uh, are you in the Army? Well, here comes the Third Amendment question, but I wonder, is he ever going to ask about the Tenth Amendment? Well, of course not, because it would never fit his narrative to begin with. Are you in some sort of military? Navy? Awesome. Can you tell us what the Third Amendment is? Huh? I'm just asking a quick question. Do you know what the Third Amendment is? Why not? Well, you're a public employee. It's okay. I'm asking about the Constitution. Well, I got a question for you, Asselmo. Can you tell me what Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution is? Uh, no, you can't, because you only m memorized the first five amendments of the Constitution and not any of the articles in it. I mean, there are seven articles and 27 amendments to the Constitution, you know. Something else you need to memorize other than what is in the Bill of Rights, which pertains to the first ten amendments of the Constitution. But hell, you don't even know the Tenth Amendment, so... This is Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution that basically lays out how the uh, Constitution can be amended, where uh, co amendments can be taken away from the Constitution or added to the Constitution. And if you don't think that can happen, just look at the Prohibition era. 
Yeah. Your, your work for the Navy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. guess who pays for that? The public. <laughs> Well, he's not a customer. He's in the. He's he's a public. No, he is a customer here, so you can record. But I ask that you don't engage my customers. He's in. A, he's in his can official. We take, can, yeah. can we yeah. assist you? Yeah. Well, you so see. You can record. You got to. Well, ma'am, but you a, can't engage the customers. You're very, Stay uncomfortable. They're well, making you. Let me. Them let me tell you something, ma'am. You know what's uncomfortable? That this guy uh, took an oath to protect uh, the U.S. Navy, the United States. Now you can't engage, but I'll let you record. I can engage. Do not engage. I can engage. I will have you remove if you don't stop. I I can I can guarantee you. Let's go. Let's go talk to the police. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Because you, (laughs) it's called freedom of speech. Uh, As long as I'm not violent. You can't I can, engage the customers. There's right? no customers here. Everybody's a boss. Everybody's a boss here, ma'am. Okay. No, you're not. Pay, you're not buying. It. We're not buying anything. Let's go. Is he, he did take an oath. Well, for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the uh, part where he gets booted out of the building, considering that he's already in the process of being trespassed. And yes, ass Elmo, yes, you can be trespassed out of any building in any state in any part of the country. No matter if it's public or private, you need to do better at reading the laws, you moron. A little later. It's a matter of respect. If I respect you, you respect back. That's it. That's. I'm sorry? I said, I apologize. I had to take it, that phone call. Oh, no problem. No problem. No need to apologize. I have no control over what occurs in that office. Well, you do. You're, you're a cop. Okay. Somebody breaks the law in there, you, you can run in there. If there's a criminal offense, yes, we can respond. But that office is under the control of the clerk of the court. Okay. She's a constitutional officer, and she determines what goes on in her office. That's not... Well, that, I have to disagree, sir. I am a constitutional activist, and we the people... Uh, have no uh, uh, barriers when it comes to our rights. So okay. if we're in a public place, then you need this to take that. This you is, need to take that up with Gwen Marshall, then, because that is her office. Not that's Marshall. not. That's the thing. You guys are giving her too much power. She that doesn't. She don't own that office. No, but she controls that office. But she doesn't control me. Okay. She does. She, con- she controls who who can be who she has. Not if I'm not if I'm working. Not if I'm the press. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Listen, ass monkey. Uh, you are not the press. And uh, freedom of the press does not mean freedom of the press to stomp on everybody that you see that you don't like. No, that's not how it works, you moron. You just can't walk into any space and claim it as your own and say, I'm the press. Respect me. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. That may be how it works in your deluded little brain, but that's not how it works in the real world. Uh, I'm working. Do you have pre- press cre- credentials? Of course. Okay, it's ma'am. called the First Amendment, the Constitution. Okay. You, do you remember you took an oath to that? I did, sir. Did you take an oath? We're not, we're not going to argue this. I'm no, gonna, I'm, 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 well, we have to, sir, because you're no, asking I'm for not, credentials. I'm just here to argue with you. So just leave me alone. That's fine. I'm going to go back in there, and, sir, I'm not going to interfere. I'm letting you know. I don't ever break the law. I've been doing, this is my job for more than four years. Liar! You don't ever break the law. Man, I need to get that uh, rap sheet of yours from Frauder or Wrangler or Frauder or Troll so I can just stick it on here and let everybody read it for themselves. Because, as Elmo, you are a damn liar. Let me ask you this. I don't break the law. If, if there, there are people who come into that office to file paperwork that is of a private matter. Okay. If you were in there filing private matter paperwork, would you want your face to be uh, released? I'll tell you something, sir. There's nothing private about this building. If I get in trouble and I come to the courthouse, this gentleman right here could go in there and be like, I'd like to get his whole paperwork. Don't you know that's how we find out about snitches? (laughs) You guys, you guys love to call them, what is it, confidential informants and all that until you go to court. And then their name, and then they're like pointing fingers, and everything's recorded, and everything is out for the people to request as a public record. Funny how you say that you've never committed a crime, yet here you are talking about that kind of thing as if you have committed them and been through the system and seen how it works. Kind of exposing yourself right there, aren't you? Sir, this is a public building. Respectfully, respectfully, sir. 
I, I respect your job uh, as an officer, and I'm sure you, you, you work hard to, to be a sergeant, mm -hmm. and, and you know your stuff. So just know, sir, no employee here owns any office here. We do. This is our building. Okay. We finance it. The government doesn't have their own money to, to make these uh, this kind of operation. As long as I'm not breaking the law, like I said, I could be in there asking questions to any customers, like you want to call them, or actually I call them bosses. Well, you're not in charge here, dude, and that's a fact. You can't make that call. And do you realize what a customer is? A customer is somebody who uses their money to exchange goods and services. And guess what? They're exchanging their money for services in that office. So that makes them a customer. Because we're not buying anything here. We're not walking out of here with anything unless it's a felony or a misdemeanor. Are you, you know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> How stupid are you, dude? There are all sorts of other services that can be found inside of a courthouse which can be paid for with money. I mean, hell, you can go to my local courthouse and uh, get the Justice of Peace to marry you if you want uh, that service. I mean, there's just more than the legal services that you referenced in there, you freaking moron. No one ever really comes out of here happy, bro. When we make a purchase, we're happy. No one comes out of here happy. Well, I, I disagree with that. Well, I'm somebody, uh, uh, well, uh, well I bet you somebody that got, uh, that, that won a lawsuit because they were framed with, with, with charges walked out happy, but I, they weren't happy at first. Usually that people, people are brought here uh, are um, obligated to come here and do, and do business. So they need to respect us the same way that I'm respecting you. Uh, as an officer, and I and hey man, you I encourage you to go get the bad guys, but I'm not a, I'm not one of them. No one has said you're a bad guy. Well, you're they're kind of treating me like the bad guy if they're telling me get out for speaking okay. in a low tone of voice, respectful voice actually. Although the First Amendment says I can I can protest, and if you go to, if I'm sure you've been to a protest before, they're shouting and screaming in a protest until you do it by yourself. Then you do it by yourself as a disorderly conduct. But no, sir, I'm not by myself. I'm with the thousands and thousands of Mr. America fans from Auditing America. Share, like, and subscribe. We also have police officers who love to know my location all the time. Because, you know, you are at work. You have to, you have to be on point. So we're watching just now. What's okay? There may be a possibility now that the uh, idiot is intercepting this oral conversation going on to his right because they don't even know that he's filming, and they certainly haven't given him permission to film their transaction. What's your name? My name is Casey Keating. There's there's nothing he can do about that. Why? Why? Sir, these ladies have asked you not to film them. Sir, they don't have that privilege. That's what I'm. I'm not here to film her, sir. Sir, I'm not here to out. film her. Step out, sir. Let me tell you something. Step out. Is this sir. a lawful order? Sir, sir, please don't I'm touch asking, me. I'm asking. Are you going to arrest out. me if I don't? Yes, I will. For what charge? For trespassing. Trespassing. Call your supervisor. I'm going to step out. Under threat of arrest, you just messed up. You okay. just messed up. Okay. You just this. You just messed up. Yes, you did. So you're a you're, tyrant. You're harassing. Uh, no, I'm not. Citizens. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna complain on you every day, bro. Do every that. day. Do that. Every day. Don't you do touch that. me, bro. I'm not touching so you. So put your hands down. No, sir. Put your put I your hands put down. My hands bro. wherever I put want. Your, to. Not not on near me. I can feel threatened. S sir, step out the door. You are a tyrant. Step call out your the door. Call a supervisor. I am the supervisor. Call your superior. Call your lieutenant. Sir, step out the door. Okay, tyrant. You're step tired. out the door. This is not what you got hired for. Sir, step out the this door. This is not what you got hired for. So you you can't do anything about that. Yeah. No, you can't. So arrest me then. When they come out, arrest me for filming. Go ahead, bro. Arrest me. I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. You're going to take me to jail for exercising my rights? No. 
I'm You're gonna take me to jail? For trespassing if you don't I'm not doing anything else. I'm, I'm not harassing anybody. They're being nasty to me. You didn't even see that. Yes, Why don't you understand? But you don't have a right to. Yes, I can say. I can. Say, yes, I do. Call your superior. You don't know my rights, and you just trampled on them. And you threatened to arrest me for trespassing when I absolutely have the right to be there. You're being disorderly. You are being disorderly. Yes, you're. And you're using the color of law to threaten a citizen who's engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. I've done nothing wrong, sir. You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. You, sir. Sir. No one's harassing anybody. No one's harassing anybody. And this is not the last time you're gonna see me. I promise you. I promise you. Not the last time you're gonna see me, tyrant. I'm not harassing. Oh, now I could come in the building. So now I'm not harassing anybody, bro. That's they don't have that privilege. What don't you understand? Public photography is a legal activity, bro. I can say whatever I want as long as I'm peaceful. What's harassing? What's gonna happen? You're harassing me, bro. You're harassing me. You are interrupting my rights, bro. Your rights end no. where my nose begins. That has never, bro, I, that? bro, bro, bro. You can't stick your nose in my rights. I have the right to, to video record. I have the right to say whatever I want as long as I'm peaceful. I have the right to protest. And I've done nothing illegal so that you can trespass me from here, especially when I'm at work. Yes, I'm not loitering. I'm not being disorderly. What were you going to get me for? Disorderly conduct? Because the, oh, I was being disorderly. Do you know? Do you know what? Oh, uh, so, God forbid! I can't fucking disagree with anybody because it's being disorderly. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, dude. Considering every single time somebody disagrees with you, you call them disorderly. Sir, I have rights. I know my job. I know my boundaries. You have illegally gave me orders, and this is going to land on you. You don't that. care. You don't care. I'm good with that. You're good with giving out illegal orders? It's not illegal. Yes, it is. I haven't been. I haven't broken the law. You don't have the right to trespass me for no reason, bro. Uh, read the laws, dude. Considering that uh, you used to clearly haven't read anything else, go get yourself educated. I have not harassed anybody. I have not harassed anybody. You're a tyrant, and this is going to land on you. Tyrants. So you decide to go to my old stomping grounds and just start harassing people. Wonderful. Now, where you're at right now, I can see Monroe Street. That's the Capitol building over there. Now, to the north of you, which is that direction, you can just go a little ways down the road and hang a right on Tennessee Street and get to FSU. Now, you remain on uh, Monroe Street. You end up on North Monroe, right next to uh, Tallahassee Mall. and which is this, pretty much the northern side of the city. Now, from this point here, if you go just a little bit south, you can take a left on uh, Appalachia uh, Parkway, which is just in front of the Capitol building over there, and end up in the main commercial district of the uh, city, where, you, where you'll end up at Governor Square Mall. And thank you for visiting my hometown. Uh, and please don't ever come back, because it's clear that you're not welcome there. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I sure did. I loved as some old getting the walk of shame in my old hometown. In the meantime, see you guys later, and I will see you on the next one.